It's summer, we wanna be outside, so let's talk about how we can keep our baby's skin protected in the sun. I'm gonna be sharing some important tips and things to look for when it comes to selecting sunscreen for your baby. First, I wanna mention that it's not safe to use any sunscreen at all for babies under six months. So this will be recommendations for those that are six months and older. For those babies under six months, you wanna keep them out of direct sun as much as possible as they have that fresh baby skin, right? But for those days that they are out in the sun, make sure you're getting hats with UPF 50 or more. You can also get those sun suits that help protect their skin. Um, the sun protectant is built into the fabric. So here are some different things you're gonna to wanna to look for when it comes to selecting sunscreen for your baby. Screenshot this, save this, whatever you need, so the next time you're out looking for it, you have this list. First, broad spectrum protection means it protects against both UVA and UVB rays. This helps shield your baby from harmful sunburns and long-term skin damage. Next, make sure you're choosing one with an SPF of 30 or higher. Most baby sunscreens you'll see um, will have 50 or higher. SPF 30 protects 97% of UVB rays. Combining number three and seven here, but it's important to avoid chemicals and go for a more uh, mineral-based sunscreen. So zinc oxide is gonna be really safe to use on your baby's skin. Number four should go with anything that you put on your baby's skin, but hypoallergenic and fragrance-free. This is gonna minimize the risk for skin irritation and allergic reactions. Plus, a lot of times the word fragrance, you don't really know what is in that fragrance or how they get that fragrance. So it's just better to go fragrance-free. Number five, if they're gonna be in the water, it's always important to add that extra layer of protection for water-resistant sunscreen. And number six, with so many different sunscreens on the market, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's dermatologist approved. Now number eight goes into when you're actually gonna use the sunscreen before lathering it all over their body. Do a little sample test to make sure there's no irritation or reaction. Of course, if you are following these above, you shouldn't have a reaction, but better to be safe than sorry. And last but not least, check the expiration date of the sunscreen. Yes, sunscreens can expire. Over time, they will lose their effectiveness, so it's really important you use one that's not expired to get the most protection, the most out of it. Also, this should go without saying, but make sure it's age-appropriate sunscreen. So if it's for a baby, make sure it says baby sunscreen, kid sunscreen, and so on and so forth. It's important to not use sunscreen meant for adults on babies as it could have chemicals or other hidden ingredients in there. Don't forget to save this video and have some safe fun in the sun.